KSBW High School Playbook Blitz. Hey, Baylor cheerleaders, thank you. Welcome to week four high school playbook blitz. 18 area schools in action tonight, and we're going to begin with two schools who, who take on all comers. They're not afraid to play anybody. I'm talking about the two schools with the toughest schedule in this area this year. I'm talking about Aptos High and Palma High, and they met tonight at Rabble Bank Stadium in Salinas. Palma would get the first two scores in this contest. Their top runner is Emilio Martinez. He's just a junior, but he is a really good one. In for the touchdown there, Palma up 7 0. Chieftains who didn't go up 14 0 in much the same fashion. Emilio Martinez goes in again. Good job by that Palma offensive line. Aptos, though, would get back in it a bit later in the contest. Quarterback Jack Wolf dives over from about. Uh, Five yards out, Mariners touchdown right there. The Palma, the better team tonight. They pull away right here. Jack Richardson going to connect. You see that touchdown here? Well, uh, there was a Jack Richardson touchdown pass. Here it is. Jack Richardson going to Orlando Yapes, and he scores. And Palma goes on to win at 24-13, your final from Rabble Bank Stadium. Now let's check out the Cowboys of Salinas High, the place they call the pit. Oh, look who's throwing out the footballs. And Mike Bertani in the background, look at the arm on the old man there. Watch this one. Oh, what a spin. Liberal Blitz footballs. There's a quick touchdown right there to the visitors from Neil Peters. Boom. Yeah, next time they had the ball, they scored again. Soversky, the quarterback, nice job of scrambling around. And then finding his man, Avery Alamillo. Touchdown, Mil Pitas. Salinas High. Well, I got to be honest, man for man, Mil Pitas, much bigger players in this game. Much, much bigger players. Saversky, another touchdown run. Simply put here, Salinas High got manhandled in this game tonight. And they lose 40-6 to the final. Salinas next week opens up league play against Hollister. Now let's head to Santa Cruz. Non-league battle between the Santa Cruz Cardinals and North Salinas Vikings. Hi. Don't know who you are, but hi. Nice to see you on TV. Quarterback keeper Tim Burkhardt takes it in for the touchdown. North Salinas right there. He's number two. Later, Burkhardt going to flip it out to Lawrence Chambers. Good-looking running back. Chambers right here does a whole lot of work for a 15-yard game. Nice highlight, though. Good defense. North Salinas ground game very effective in this game. And they're going to win it. North Salinas back home next week. There's Chambers again. Huge game, and they win it. North Salinas is victorious in this one. 26 0 Vikings 2 1. Now, uh, let's bring in my friend Mike Furtani. He's got more highlights. Mike. Thanks, Dennis. Last week, Scotts Valley was playing under the lights of Levi Stadium up in Santa Clara. They beat the Watsonville Wildcats 7-0 for their first win of the season where the San Francisco 49ers play. This week, they came back home as they took on the visiting Seaside High Spartans. And it looked like the winning would continue in Scotts Valley. Falcons cheerleaders right here. Check this out. Boy Mena with the handoff, and he's going to go 56 yards for the touchdown run for the kids in black, breaking tackles and then streaking down the right sideline into the end zone for the Falcons. Touchdown. Scott's Valley going to score again. Nick Reyes, the quarterback, with the nice touch pass for to Ethan Emanuelson. Wide open in the flat. He takes it from 30 yards out for the score. Then it's going to be Reyes again. He's going to throw it up, and Dalton Locke going to come down with it at the one-yard line. Scott Valley would score again on the next play, and the Falcons go on to win this one, 55-14. Next week, Scott Valley home against Eureka Senior High. Seaside plays at North Monterey County, and now it's moved all the way down the other end of the viewing area. So that Aztecs home tonight against Alisal, the visitors from the north. Augustine Mesa gets the Soledad offense going in here with a nice 15-yard gain on the ground. Soledad quarterback Eric Martinez flips it out to Enrique Pacheco. And he goes to the pass and he takes it in for the TD for the Aztecs. Soledad going to strike again. Quarterback keeper for the Aztecs, Martinez, runs it into the end zone. And here's another one for Soledad. 
Martinez connects with Johnny Sanchez for another Aztec touchdown. Soda proving to be a force to be reckoned with down in South County. Aztec would not be able to overcome the deficit. 34 to 14, the final from South Monterey County. Aztecs take the Pacific Grove next Friday. Aztec takes on Pajaro Valley. Back to you, Dennis. Thank you very much, Mike. Here we got Watsonville visiting SoCal High and the SoCal band. They are so cool. Always, year after year. Happening kids from SoCal in the band right there. SoCal quarterback Eddie Alvarez going deep to Ryan Canavan. Got it. Going in six. 39-yard touchdown play for the Knights. Slick stuff here by the Watsonville offense. Inside reverse David Oliveras. 27 yards gone. Touchdown Wildcats. Touchdown right there. Here's another score for Watsonville. Fabian Parra, 5-9, 2 Tough to stop him. He's in the end zone. And the Wildcats of Watsonville. Oh! Nice hit. They win it. 34-19. Watsonville goes to Gilroy next Friday night. So kill up in San Bruno playing Cappuccino High next Saturday. Christopher Cougars home against Hillsdale Hunt of San Mateo. Oh, that's a nice shot. Beautiful pitch. Hillsdale in the powder blue, Brett Wetland, the quarterback to Nate Shanny, 20 yard gain for the visitors from San Mateo. Then the big running play for Hillsdale. Nate Rosas all the way down to the Christopher 15 yard line. I'll be honest with you, I'd prefer to show more Christopher highlights tonight, but not a lot of them. Here, here, watch this. He's down at the one, but they give him a touchdown. Down at the one, and he sticks the ball over. Touchdown, Cameron Taylor. That's okay, refs. I had uh, not a lot of highlights. Yeah, the Cougars, Chris Christopher had to go to the backup quarterback, Ryan Adams, Sander Bowers. Nice there, but then the defense of Hillsdale sacks uh, Christopher. Yeah, with a tough night for Christopher. And then we're going to get another touchdown pass for Hillsdale right there. It's Rosas. Cutler the Rosas. Hillsdale wins 41 zip. Next week, Christopher, no easier. They got, oh my yikes. Marina Mariners hosting the Harbor High Pirates. R.J. E.J. Talk about E.J. Jennings of Marina High. Turns a corner and goes here. 30-yard touchdown run. This will be a historic night for Marina High School. Another Marina touchdown coming up. Then we're going to have Will Leander going in for the Mariners score right here. One of the top plays of the night, though, and i got to show you this one. One of the top plays of the year. Kickoff return by Nick Lynn of Harbor. This is a good one. Watch this. He is done right here. He is surrounded. He is trapped. There's a crowd of Harbor. No! I beg his pardon. He's gone. What a play. Nick Lynn. 94-yard touchdown. One of the plays of the year. Tonight, though, belonged to Marina. More points in this game tonight for Marina than they scored all of last year. They put 57 on the board. Despite that Harbor score. Arena wins. Scoreboard, 57 to 20. Arena dominates. Now let's check out game played outside the area. Not a good night for locals. Got to be honest with you. Hollister beaten by Wilcox in San Jose, 35-14. Pacific Grove. Yikes. Hillmar. Uh, Hillmar, the great gateway to Turtle. Monterey falls to Menlo Atherton, 49-14. Gilroy Mustangs lose up in Piedmont Hills, 51-26. Missed any of the scores? Check out our website. If you want to see the entire show again, it'll be up on the website in a few minutes as well. We'll be back with more right after this.